Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity in Santa Clara. I'm here with Thomas Donka. Thomas, how are you doing? I'm very good, thanks. So you're with Microsoft, but that's a, a fairly new event yeah. for you. Yeah. So where did you come from and how did you get there? So I, I joined Microsoft six months ago as part of an acquisition. Uh, Microsoft acquired our company. I was a founder and the CEO of the company. And the company was called Hockey App. And Hockey App is a pl was a platform um, for app developers to distribute their apps. Um, to collect crash reports and to collect feedback from their users. Okay, and so we noticed this this might be like the first for Microsoft to be at the mm -hmm. Velocity event. Are you part of that reason why they're here? And, and what 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 is in this event for you guys? Here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's, it's part of the acquisition but also part of the new Microsoft that's open to all kinds of developers, not only Windows developers, but also iOS developers, Android developers, web developers. And that's why we are here. We want to approach um, those developers, show them what the new Microsoft can do and um, what we have to offer. And, and I look at Microsoft as probably the, uh, the, the quintessential enterprise mm -hmm. uh, company yeah. and is performance more important than the enterprise than anywhere almost, mm -hmm. so it seems like a natural for Microsoft to be more mm -hmm. in the space. Is, yeah. is that how you're seeing this too? Yeah, so um, we recently um, announced a new product um, called Application Insights, um, which is um, part of our Azure offering um, and combines monitoring with usage. So um, this is something new. We do the application performance monitoring as one feature, but we have the usage, like, you know, analytics part as a second component of the same. So this is all running in the cloud, in the, in the Azure cloud. Yes. So you're doing analytics on the fly in the cloud yeah. for large companies, enterprise um, side? For all companies. We for, say it's for all, all companies, yes. all platforms, all developers. So one of the key features that we have is that um, it's really open. So it works on iOS and on Android. It works for ASP.NET web pages, for Java, even for Python web pages. Windows Phone? Windows Phone, of okay, course. Okay. We support our own developers. <laughs> um, you integrate our SDK into your app, and the SDKs are open source. So it's really you know, the new Microsoft. Um, and we, we are driving off, uh, on the wave of the .NET open source um, success. And um, you integrate our SDK and you start using um, start using your app, and the app sends back data into application insights. And the developer will see um, what problems there are. They can triage issues, crash reports, and they see how many users and sessions. So, what kind of innovation are you seeing around this sort of uh, uh, monitoring in the cloud uh, around most likely Azure? Yeah. What other kind of innovation are you seeing? Yeah. So. One of the core features of our system is what we call the 360 degree view. Yeah. So it's, it's basically performance and usage, availability, so if your website is up or down, and diagnostics like crash reports, exceptions. And we have those four components and we bring them together into one system so you have a full view of your app, what's happening, what problems there are. You're basically one step ahead of the user and can solve problems before the user even complains, you know, and gives you a one-star review and says the app crashes all the time. You're one step ahead and have already submitted a new update into the app store and say, hey, we, we found an issue and we solved it. And this will move on into a more complete offering as we had on Hockey App, with you have a um, distribution of apps, uh, uh, alpha builds, prototypes, beta builds, and then bug fixes, and a, a user reports a problem and say, hey, here's a new build, try this out, and you just oh, take your iPhone and you install the new build and, and see if the, the, the bug is fixed. And then uh, you go even one step further and have feedback where the user can, from the app, give you feedback, send a screenshot and say, hey, this is off or this is a bug and I want you to fix it. So with Applications Inside and mm -hmm. in Azure, you really don't care what's underneath? No, so, we, so, it's a, it's so really this is so a new Microsoft, it, right? That is really the new Microsoft. So um, um, as part of the Hockey App acquisition, um, we now support iOS and Android apps. Um, it really it can be in any iOS app. The SDK is open source on GitHub, so you can pull pull the code, you can fork it, you can send us a pull request. Our team is really happy to get you know, pull requests from the outside. It's on, under a liberal license, it's at the MIT license, so you can do whatever you want with the code. You don't have to mention Microsoft. But at the same time, we have that um, trust and security and privacy that comes with Azure and that the enterprises love. You know, they it's go into the, the Azure yeah. Trust Center and they see, you know, they own the data. 
they can do whatever they want with the data. Microsoft is not selling it, is not using it for advertisements. They really trust Azure. And so it, it combines that trust that the users have to have into the app developer. The developer has it in Microsoft and we give it back to, to the users. So if you could fast forward yeah. 12 months from now, let's mm -hmm. say we're going to sit down in yeah. Santa Clara next year in, yeah. in June and we're going to have a conversation. Where will you say your application insights yeah. has gone and Azure together, where would you like to be positioned? Mm -hmm. So of course we are in public preview now, so we want to go public and officially live until then. Um, I think it, um, it, it expands into the wider space of application lifecycle management. Um, we already have the Visual Studio Online tool and, and Team Foundation server. So we want to offer a full solution for developers where they start with planning a project, um, with you know, finding work items, features and stories to the monitoring and have that all under one hood for all developers out there on all platforms. So Thomas, we look forward to that conversation next year and, and the new Microsoft uh, Thanks for partners. Having me. Thank you.